George Bennett from the Palm Beach Post is joining us for, with some insight on this story. George just flew back from Texas where he had that one-on-one -on -one exclusive one-hour jailhouse interview with Mary McCarty. George, thanks so much for joining us today. Sure. Uh, first of all, Mary McCarty went from a prominent public figure here in Palm Beach County to behind bars, behind razor wire. What's, what's she like? What's her demeanor like now? Well, she looked a little better than she did in that, uh, that day she was sentenced. Uh, you know, considering she's in a federal facility, she seemed upbeat and in good spirits. Uh, it was a little jarring to see her in a prison uniform, uh, you know, after being used to seeing her all those years up on the county commission dais. Uh, but she's trying to make the best, I guess, out of her uh, situation and, and hoping to get out later this year. You're going to be talking a lot in an article that's coming up, and we'll tell, tell folks when that's going to be running in your paper. But Warren Newell tipped prosecutors off to what was going on with Mary McCarty and her husband. Did she talk about him and her feelings toward him at this point? Uh, she did, and, and that's in our story. And she also talked about her feelings toward uh, Tony Mazzolotti, who was a real uh, enemy of hers on the county commission. And we should say those were both county commissioners with her. That's correct, yeah. That. Yes. For folks for the backstory there, but go ahead. Yeah, so she she offered uh, some uh, some brief thoughts on the two of them, and uh, just on on kind of what her, what she's doing in her everyday life there. Um, you know, there was a Supreme Court decision that that threw out a large portion of this honest services fraud law. She talked a little bit about that and the potential implications of that, and that's all going to be in our story on Sunday. I know you're going to talk a little bit more about, but were they, was she warm feelings toward them, angry toward them? Can you say? Uh, you know, she probably won't be having drinks with Warren anytime soon. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> Let's stay on the theme of feelings. She apologized at her sentencing, and, and no cameras were allowed inside your interview. Uh, did you get the, t uh, the feeling that from the tone of this hour-long interview that she is still remorseful at, for letting down her constituents here in Palm Beach County? I think that's still the case. I, th I think, you know, she is uh, looking to return to this community uh, when she gets out of prison and, uh, you know, wants to be accepted again. So she is remains... Uh, as she was before she went away, uh, apologetic. We're almost out of time, but I, you know, Martha Stewart spent time behind bars. When you think of powerful women who were, held this uh, tremendous place in, in public life, uh, and, and she came out of prison saying she had a lot of thinking to do. She was, you know, she meditated a lot and came back out a better woman. Did, is, it, was there some indication that Mary McCarty was, you know, spending her days becoming a better person, if you will? I, I think so. I think she she talks a lot about, uh, you know, just some of the self uh, realization that she's come to th through this through being in prison. Great interview, George. You can read more about it in Sunday's Palm Beach Post. Thanks so much for joining us for that insight. Thank you.